such loss of life. Tahira. Oh, Bayek, thank the gods you have come. Your message was urgent. These are the swords of two hidden ones I recruited, killed in a massacre. They will be remembered as martyrs to the cause. This is Gamilat, leader of the Nabatean rebels. What happened? We retreated through the village. The Romans pursued us in a fury and took their anger out on the villagers. It was pure butchery. Innocent men and women. The Hidden Ones tried to stop it and were killed. They understood the risks. I assigned them to help the rebels. Tahira, what has been done cannot be undone. The Hidden Ones have no place in battles, but we can help the rebellion by eliminating the Roman leader. General Rufio, but he is in Rome. Rufio has three lieutenants here in the Sinai. These three men will die. Let's get to it. Hmm. I am indebted to you. We do this for the people, Gamilat. Yes, the people. The people and I are one and the same. <laughs> Gamilat. Damos is fierce. There you are. I may lose a few men in order to win this battle. Baik, our hero. Just in time. We are planning our raid on Damos, Rufio's mason. Ah, he's the one leading this village. Yes. The temple will be gone soon. The pyramid as well. Damos does not care about Egypt. He has employed Nebetians to carry out his sad work for Rufio, a soulless waker. He would give Amun to Rome as a slave if he could. The people need monuments and sacred sites. If they disappear, the people's spirit will be crushed. But they will remain if we kill this Damos fast enough. <laughs> Shh! Quiet! Stay focused! Romans are all around the pyramid. Faithless bastards. Ah! Isn't here! Nick! Mm. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Isn't it, Bayek? There must be a pharaoh buried down here. A hidden chamber of our ancestors. Check for treasure, more of it, to fund our cause. What is this? What were they constructing down here? We will need to find a way through. And what of this pyramid? A failed venture of Tahakas in honor of the pharaoh Amenisi. Legend has it a sacred rock fell from the sky. Tahaka was seeking shards from this rock. Rumor has it they are stored in this pyramid. How I would love to find them! Haganu calls them the Shards of Star. A blade made of these shards would make its bearer very powerful. <laughs> I would love to see you wield such a weapon, Bayek. These shards cannot fall into Roman hands. Climb like you, Bayek. Help me get to such great heights. Huh. I have reached the exit, Bayek. Oh, thank you, great hidden one. Snakes everywhere. My father died from a snake bite. 
Come on, my Senny. These snakes remind me of Apex. I have fought Apex before. More junk in our way. Not a problem. So, Tamos does wrong. Yes, I'm sure he works for Cleopatra even. Rufio is my guy. Stay on the platform. I will make it rise. Bayek! I think I may have found the shots of Star! <clears throat> what have you found? A scroll! Neck! Not the secret objects I was hoping for. Let's get out of here! You keep the scroll. It means nothing to me. Perhaps you can learn more from it. I will get the rebels at my outpost to lead the attack on Tamos. Too many innocents may die. I will do this alone. As you wish. Rain upon him like the soul of the sky. A mysterious poem. Later I will explore the Temple of Thoth. Three dead. As promised. That leaves Rufio. Mm -hmm. He will be drawn to the Sinai by news of these deaths. Gamilat is now hero of the land. The people speak of no one else. You seem troubled. The cause of the rebels is just. But I've seen how often simple villagers get caught in battles. Many losing their lives. Have you spoken to him about this? To him they are martyrs. Their deaths inspire their families to join the rebels. They will have peace until the Romans send another general. It is endless. We must make the Hidden Ones as enduring as the Order. There is a more immediate problem. Gamilat. The people look on him as if it were a god. They glorify his every action. <laughs> he fights for the people's freedom. <laughs> you and I just witnessed a massacre. I've spoken to the villagers. There have been many such massacres. In each, Gamilat sends his rebels to provoke the Romans. The rebels hide among the villagers, inviting the Roman backlash to fall upon the most vulnerable. Many villagers are slaughtered in the fight. You're saying he does this knowingly? This tactic creates martyrs for the cause, and families eager to take vengeance upon the Romans. His plan was to cause a slaughter, to recruit more rebels. He's done this again and again. He is building a rebellion at a terrible price. He is a friend. Recall that Cleopatra was more than a friend. Yet I trusted her too well. You. Helped me see my mistake. He and I must talk. Whoa. I am astonished by Gamilat's actions. Is he leading the rebellion for personal power? I don't think so. I believe he wants the rebellion to succeed so badly that he is blind to the cost. He genuinely sees the villagers as martyrs. He does not consider that they had no choice. And the tactic has been successful. He will certainly use it when the Romans send another general. Baik. What is this about? You have been provoking massacres. Many innocent villagers have died. I have exposed the vile cruelty of the Romans. 
Those martyrs have inspired countless warriors to continue the fight. Martyrs? What are the lives of a few villagers in light of freedom for all? The lives of a few villagers? They had no choice in the matter! Bayek, don't be absurd. We fight on the same side. No. Yeah. We simply fight. So be it. There is freedom. And there is the life of innocence. Both must be balanced on this scale. It is now my heart that will lie upon the scale of Anubis. Your heart beat too strongly in favor of its cause. The innocent must always be protected. My ardor shone like sun in my eyes, blinding me. You have done right by me. I accept his death. Day. No hidden one will raise a sword against an innocent. So it shall be written. May you find peace in the Duat. And may the hidden ones last until the end of time. <laughs>